Welcome back to Band Aid with Doc Rock. I'm Doc Rock, and we are in the recovery room! <laughs> and most everybody knows this band because it's a bundle of energy. This trio is out there, and they're called the Day Method. Welcome. Good to have you guys here. How you doing tonight? Okay? Pretty good. Yeah, good, good. Right. good. Yeah, so, man, you've been some busy guys. Okay. We heard some great Day Method songs uh, during the break. What did we hear? We heard two of our new songs, Beautiful, and a new one that is technically not released yet called Battleground. Battleground. Yes. Technically not released, so it's a first right here in the recovery room. Only for you from the day method. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's cool. Now listen, uh, we got of course, we got to give a little introduction as to who you guys are. Sir, you are? Uh, my name is Ben Williams. And I what am, instrument do you play? Oh, I'm the lead singer, and I play guitar. Okay, cool. And you are? Uh, my name is Matt Williams. I'm his brother. Yeah. And, uh, I play <laughs> drums. And drums and all that stuff. And in the back, let me guess. Bassist. No! no. Close. Used um, to be. Uh, my, name is, my name is Dylan Beimuller. I'm the lead guitar player, and I do scream vocals and lead guitar. Yes. <laughs> and lead guitar. He's like the filler guy back there, okay? That's why the brothers threw him in the back seat. I'm telling you. There's got to be discrimination in the against band or something. I don't know what's going on with this stuff. God, is it easy beating brothers? And and, uh, and and having a cut deal in your cousin, I guess? No. You're not a cousin? No. no. Good. The funny thing is, you'll make more money in the end, so that, that, that's, you know. <laughs> is it easy being brothers and being in a band? Uh, I tolerate them. I guess. <laughs> you know? Every now and then well, I try to cut them out of the record deals, but, you know. Uh, <laughs> his drum set's in our basement, so I have to use it for something. Oh, okay. Okay. So, did, there ever, did you ever come across any musical differences? You kind of some of your music and everything, you know, from your, in your brotherhood, just do it this way, that way. Uh, how do you solve? How do you resolve that? Usually, I'm right. Okay, you go tell mom. <laughs> no, <obviously>. Okay. <laughs> no, um, uh, we usually talk about it. Okay. To be honest, Ben does write most of our music. Um, okay, but we're, we're okay with it because he does a, a pretty darn good job. Yeah, I would say so. After, but after, after some practice, unfortunately, I've gotten a little bit better. <laughs> okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> well, now the. Uh, you said about Dylan. Uh, Dylan is just some screamo. Yes. Now wait, I, I wouldn't have imagined it in this band because I went through so many recordings. Are you going to record some screamo or something? I just mm -hmm. screamo and the day method just don't seem to. Is this a new direction? Well, I mean, what? The, the thing. The thing about the screaming is like we kind of have this genre that we like to call happy hardcore. Okay. So like, <laughs> I like there's. That. There's of course like there's songs like we have songs like beautiful and like for those of the people watching that have heard it, uh -huh. Love Sore is another like it's a happy like you know a love song happy song. But then we have like pop electronic, is, yeah. Okay. And we have like life is fatal and like battleground and too late never and all those that like have kind of a heavier element to them, which is starts involving a little bit of the hardcore emotion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Happy hardcore. I think that's fun. Yeah. No, it, it works. First time I heard it. Yeah. Well, you know the um, the. Uh, are you constantly writing new stuff, Ben? You know, are you are you a very disciplined writer? Or are you kind of one of those impulsive guys who gets up I, in the middle of the night and wakes up and says, "I got an idea." I, I would definitely probably uh, err on the more impulsive side. Okay. Usually, most of the time, it's just like, "Oh, hey, like that's a song in my head. I better write it down now. Or I'm gonna forget it like 20 minutes from now." So but it takes a long time doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. You can't you can't force you can't force um. Impulsiveness. I yeah. So, do you, you know, do you write part of a song and just kind of sit back and and then re, you know return to it a couple of weeks yeah. later? <laughs> pretty much. Well, so there's some songs that I'll just sort of like have all of it at once or most of it at once, and I'll just be like, okay, that's pretty good, and then I'll usually fill in the little bits. And then the okay. ones you get a piece of, and you come back to it a year later, and okay. <laughs> maybe six months. You, you know, Ben, do you put do you put a lot of personal thought, you know, and inner reflection in the content of your songs? I try to. Probably not all of them, but definitely for a few, I feel like, because there's some that are just like, you know, I just want this to be like a fun, happy song that mm -hmm. people will be like, oh, this is fun. And then for other ones, I try to try to come with an idea or a theme and then write around that theme. Okay. But you're such a positive band. <laughs> I mean, everything, when I went in there, you started checking out the day method, which I, everybody's got to go do. I went, these guys are a lot of fun, you know? <laughs> it was right. It, it was good stuff. No, it was really, really good stuff. You know, the, um, um, the lyrics that, you know, of some of your songs. Um, 
the, uh, the lyrics, you know, are reflecting a lot of life's realities, and are they offering a sense of spiritual direction? Yes, you know? yes. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, personally, we are all Christians in our band, okay. and we try to incorporate that with our music that we send out to people. Uh-huh. Not really try to, try to, like, force people to leave it, but just right. sort of show that this is sort of an idea that's out there, and we think it's really something that would, that would benefit their lives. I think it's great. And even, even to convey the message to non-Christians that there is that hope and that... that mm-hmm. Uh, well, sense of I'm going to quote, quote a song here sure. that pursuit of purpose out uh-huh. there. So I mean, there's there's just all, there's all sorts of opportunities that we try to convey to people through our music. And okay. Would you would you say your music is faith based? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Faith based, based and a Christian life band. based. Mm-hmm. Actually, the name Day Method it, it means the method by which you live your day. In our case, it is as Christians. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Can you consider you're such a hardcore and heavy hardcore? Are you Godcore? <laughs> you, could, you could say that. I guess you could say that. Why not? Let's say we came up with that one. <laughs> okay, I think, you know, I think it's kind of a good thing. Why not? Right? You know, <laughs> you know, um, uh, I think it's neat. You know, I, and I, I've got to ask you this on a personal level because so many bands have so many great rituals mm-hmm. before they go on the concert stages. Do you say a prayer before you go on stage? Yes. yes. And yeah. before every practice. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, well, some. <laughs> well, most, no, most practices. The best athletes. You know, I mean, the greatest names. You know, in, in, in show business, all stop for just a moment. Yeah. To reflect on their, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as I always tell people, it's the parable of the talents from the book of Matthew. Mm-hmm. You know, what are you doing with your talents? Oh, yeah. Don't bury them into the ground. It's very, very important. Very good. You know, is it, um, um, how are you guys balancing your life demands? Because obviously, you know, you're, you're a band in demand, <laughs> and life itself, you mm-hmm. know, with all the things that you have to balance, you know, how do you, how do you keep all this going? It's lo- of course, in your family, there's a sense of brotherhood. Okay, <laughs> and maybe once in a while they'll pull you in on things still. But still, you know, I mean, Facebook for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but how do you balance your life demands with a with a, with an up and coming band like this? It's uh, it can be difficult sometimes. Uh, like for instance, Matt goes to goes away to Virginia to college during the winter, so it's okay. pretty much like. We, we kind of have to take a short break during that time, and uh-huh. then we play something around Christmas. Okay. But fortunately, I'm able to like write music over that that period of time, and then we, we try to get in everything over the summer, at, Matt, le- at least until we get out of college. Can Matt get you any gigs in Virginia? <laughs> That'd be great. If, uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> yeah. Get a good. Uh, like, I've, actually, there. I've gotten a few offers, but so far we haven't had anyone who's willing to, to pay for our fly us out. Uh, the drum sets right. cost a lot to ship, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, yeah, it's just true. Now let's the. Um, um, can't fit those in a carry on. Try to speak in a You know, your, uh, uh, your first album, This Had Better Be Good. Okay? <laughs> oh, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> and, and, and I guess, I guess my, I'm not commenting about it one way or the other. I listen you know, to it and everything, and we all have growth steps <laughs> yeah. in our careers, but growth I'm curious, steps. what were some of the lessons you learned from your first album? Write better music. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan didn't even hesitate on that one. Thanks, oh buddy. My God. Very wise yeah. statement, Dylan. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, a lot of it actually was just increase in like uh, equipment because uh, for recording, for because uh, we've been recording our own music for probably several years now. Okay. And so that was probably early on stuff that I'd done. All right. And just over the years since then, I've been able to improve like the equipment that I have and uh, like methods of doing things to get a lot better sound out of what I've got. If I'm your writing style, maturing more. Yeah, than? <laughs> I would say that that too probably. I okay. Analyze the previous songs and say, you know, I probably could have done that better. Uh huh. Sure. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Well, I think, but I think that's all part of the, the growth steps. I think mm-hmm. it's great that you're honest. What they you know about that. Yeah. The um, uh, when you're playing live shows, are you playing any live covers at all in those shows? <laughs> every now. Every now and then. Every now and then, okay. we do actually. Uh, we do have a song that's technically that's pretty cover. that's pretty popular. It is a technically song. a cover song, and it is. Uh, <laughs> it would be the song uh, "Candy Mountain," which okay. is from the Charlie the Unicorn. Video. <laughs> I don't know if okay. you've ever seen that. Viewers, you got to check that one. I would recommend yeah, go to go to facebookcom method. We have it on there. This really? would make a lot more sense if you you know played in the background while you're watching this right now. <laughs> it's actually that's one of the, the that's one of two songs that you can download on our Facebook for free right now. Okay, because you guys are so good. You know, I, I figured with some of the live covers, just mm-hmm. to widen out the show, you know, would be really yeah. uh, really effective. So I, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it helps when, when when people don't know you. If you have some song that they right. actually oh wait, I actually know the lyrics. So right. they right. actually sing yeah. along. Mm-hmm. Until, right. until people know your music, one of the funnest things about concerts is that you can sing along. So. Um, and, and of course, we have our fans who know us, and they can sing our songs. But it really helps for the new people coming to say, "Oh, hey, I recognize this. I can, I can relate to that." Sure. Mm-hmm. Hey, Matt, what would, you, what would you say though 
if there's any song that is the epitome of the day method, what song would you think it is? Still on day day. Man, uh, I would say? have to say Beautiful. It's kind of the new direction we're going. Um, we started off a punk rock band when synthesizers came into our music, then we started going to war. I guess we decided, we, we described ourselves as Reliant K, which is a punk rock sure. 90s band, meets Owl City. Oh, meets so. Justin Bieber without the... Without <laughs> the, without the, without the girl Justin Bieber without the singing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you fall into his tax bracket someday. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no problem, we're more jealous. Yeah, no, but he's doing okay. He's all right. You know, he's doing okay for himself. Well, you know, I, th- I just think that, that it's cool. The, um, um, hmm, you know, I'm just curious. <clears throat> Do you think that as artists, um, sometimes you you they get too serious and they think too much, and they just don't follow their you know their their inner faith or their inner gut? You know, one of the things I find about the day method is you're fun. <laughs> you're like, you are what rock and roll and pop music was meant to be. Okay, and there's not a lot of people that are doing that. Everybody's really serious. And everybody's core, and they're getting into some core. And they're, you know, they're all indie, they're alternative, they're all they're all out there in an extraneous kind of you know non-centralized way. And you guys kind of just run right up the middle.